Good morning. Welcome to another video. It's a cloudy morning today. The day is uh, February 14. It's the Valentine Day. We are on our way towards Mustang. Woo! This time we are on a four-wheel drive vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Let's get started. Ding. So we have just crossed Thanh Court and uh, it's a downhill from here. This area is uh, located at an elevation of around 1500 meters above sea level. This is one of the major highways in Nepal. It's a very busy highway. So most of the trucks and vehicles uh, that come into Kathmandu Valley and come out of Kathmandu Valley go through this uh, road. The river that you see on the right side is known as the Trisuli River. It is the same river that originates from Tibet as we showcased in our Tibet video. It's known as Kirung Sangpo. Driving in the roads of Nepal, we get to see some very nice quotes, especially on the trucks. As you can see, no time for love. <laughs> Bazaar area of Mughling, also known as Mughling Bazaar, and from here is the highway leading towards uh, Pokhara. Previously, when we came to Pokhara, it's on the construction. The, the highway is getting wider. There's a lot of construction work, work happening in Nepal at the moment. So we are driving alongside the Mursangdi River now. We have already left Trisuli River. So as you can see, the direction of this river is in the opposite direction. It has been a, it's a very scenic road, riverside drive, beautiful drive. So as you can see the road, some section of the road is good, some section is under construction. Probably in a few years time, this uh, will be one of the most scenic and enjoyable highway in Nepal. Anyhow, we are here at Container Coffee Hub, where we will be having our lunch. Just wondering why this place is called Container Cafe. All of these cafes are made of containers. That's why. Okay then. Hello, welcome. Welcome team. Puppetia Lounge, right? I don't know. 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 I don't it's a cozy place. Uh, in a clear day, we can actually see the entire mountain range, Himalayan range, the Annapurna and the Lamzun Himalayan range. But anyhow, uh, now it's time to get back on the road to us Pokhara. Bye bye. After having the much needed lunch, we are back on the road towards Pokhara. The road trip continues. So the road towards Pokhara from Mughling has gotten much better. It's much wider. And approximately 35 kilometers of this road has been blacked out. So we will be reaching Pokhara sooner than expected. Okay, the weather has completely changed. It's sunshine now. We are now reaching our destination for today. The current time is uh, 3.45 in the evening and uh, we still have plenty of time so we have decided to head out towards the viewpoint uh, where there is a new uh, statue of Lord Shiva and we will also be exploring the world's stupa, two of the iconic viewpoints in Pokhara. So yeah, welcome to Pokhara, we are in Pokhara now. In 
Pokhara. Uh, we are visiting the World Peace Pagoda as our first attraction. So let's go to the top of this hill. It's now an uphill climb as you can see. And the, the World Peace Stupa is situated at around an altitude of 1100 meters. So now we have arrived at the foot of World Peace Stupa. And we are climbing up stairs leading up to the stupa. World Peace Stupa, also known as Santi Stupa in Nepali, was built as a symbol of peace. Situated at an altitude of 1100 meters on the Anadu Hill, Nichidatsu Fuji laid the foundation stone along with relics of Buddha on the 12th September 1973. From the stupa, we can have a splendid view of Fewa Lake, panoramic view of the high mountain range, which includes the beautiful Annapurna range, the Taulagiri range, and the Lamzung Himal. Heading up towards the Lord Shiva statue. It's another attraction here in Pokhara. It's a recent attraction. It's a new new statue. <laughs> Sun is setting. It's a beautiful weather. And a beautiful atmosphere. Beautiful sunset here in Kanapahara. Lord Shiva statue in Pumdikot, situated at an altitude of 1500 meters above sea level, is one of the major attractions in Pokhara. The 51 feet high Lord Shiva statue is perched on a white dome resulting in the entire temple being 108 feet tall. It is one of the tallest Lord Shiva statue in Nepal. On a clear day, the hilltop provides a splendid view of the Himalayan mountain range, especially during the sunrise and sunset. After a relaxing break at the hilltop viewpoint of World Peace Stupa and Lord Shiva statue, we made our way towards Pokhara city, continuing downhill through the windy roads. The city of Pokhara is one of the most beautiful and bustling cities in Nepal, with spectacular view of high Himalayas on a clear day. If you are visiting Pokhara, don't miss out on a relaxing stroll alongside the lakeside, especially during the sunset. So we have arrived at this uh, beautiful hotel, family-run hotel. This is the Mechi Resort. And it's now time to have our dinner. Very hungry. So Yes, we are hungry. Okay, time for dinner then. The food was delicious, 10 out of 10. And now it's time for bed. Tomorrow we will be heading out early on an adventurous road trip towards Mustang. So whenever I come to Pokhara uh, in the early morning, usually I go for a morning walk and it's a beautiful walk by the lakeside. And with the morning golden hour, the mountains, the Himalayas are particularly beautiful, golden in color. So the mountain that you see on the right is the Annapurna, Annapurna South, I believe. And in the far distance, you can actually see the Taulagiri, the peak of Taulagiri, standing above 8,000 meters. So on our way towards Mustang today, we will be going through the Gandaki corridor, uh, which lies 
in between these two massive cliffs, in between Dhaulagiri and Annapurna. So, I am driver Ji, Ununza, Suresh Tamang Ji. La, Suresh Ji, what are you Hello everyone, how are you? Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Today, we are going to be a long day to the day two. We are going to be a long day to the day. We are going to be a long day just see, Malga phones phones bade. Ramayalu bato mande dance. Oh, ek aadat se ekdam gumni thauni bade sa hamro. Ekdam Ramayalu vai rasa. All right, so the journey begins to Mustang. Let's go. And we are off to Mustang. And today's destination is the village of Marfa, which is situated some 150 kilometers away from Pokhara. It's a beautiful day today. Clear blue sky and the beautiful view of mountains from here lakeside in Pokhara. We are on the highway, uh, Bagalong Highway, and this leads all the way towards uh, the city of Bagalong, uh, towards uh, Lomantang, and also to the Nepal-Tibet border in uh, Lomantang. We are currently at an elevation of 700 meters at the moment. So today we will be climbing up to 2,800 meters. It's going to be a very scenic drive today, one of the most beautiful roads in Nepal. We are driving alongside the uh, river, uh, one of the major rivers in Nepal, it's called the Seti River. Uh, Seti in Nepali, it means uh, white. So the river is actually white in color, that is why it's called Seti River. And it originates from the Annapurna mountain range. From one of the deepest canyons in the world, there is actually a NHK documentary that featured this uh, Seti River course. You should probably see it. It's on the YouTube. It's a beautiful, brilliant documentary. So we are at this location called Naya Pool. So from here, we can start uh, hiking and trekking to Annapurna region. The classic Annapurna base camp track and the Gandruk Gorepani track as well. From here you can also do the Kopra Dara track. Be sure to check out those videos on our YouTube channel. Today's drive from Pokhara towards Marfa is a beautiful scenic drive alongside rivers, canyons and mountains. The road is very well paved, it's in a very good condition, most of the road seems to be in a good condition and uh, it's going to be a really fun and adventurous drive. Okay, so we are currently on our way towards uh, Bagalum Bazar. The river on the right side is the Kali Gandaki river. Uh, it's a little difficult to see at the moment but it's right there on the right side and it actually flows from the upper Mustang Valley. Okay. So today we will be driving alongside this river through the Kali Gandaki Gorge uh, in between high mountains, the Taulagiri and the Annapurna range and into the Mustang region. I'd like to also point out a one of the tallest bridges in Nepal, as you can see up there, that's the suspension bridge. Okay, so our journey continues. We are heading towards a temple known as Kalikastan Temple. The Temple of Kalika Bhagwati, also known as Baglum Kalika Bhagwati Temple, is a significant Hindu temple located southeast of the town of Baglum in western Nepal. According to local folklore, the king of Parvat district, Pratap Narayan Singh Malla, received an idol of goddess Kalika as part of the dowry system in his marriage with King Mani Mukunda Sen's daughter. Whilst returning to his residence after the marriage ceremony, the bride, groom and the others from the marriage procession took shelter in the forest. Following day, not a single person was able to move the idol. So the king constructed a temple on that very spot. Ok, 
Okay, so we are now on the one of the highest suspension bridge in Nepal. It's known as the Gandaki Golden Bridge. It's next to the Kalika San Temple. So if you are on the way to Bagalong, then be sure to check out this uh, huge bridge. Gandaki Golden Bridge is a suspended foot bridge with a span of 567 meter. The bridge is over the Kali Gandaki River at an astounding height of 122 meters. It became the second longest bridge of its kind after the opening of Sky Bridge in Czech Republic. Prior to that, it was the world's longest foot bridge. So we have now reached uh, Beni Bazar. It's about 5 kilometers downhill from Bagalom. This city lies in the banks of Kali Gandaki River. Kali Gandaki, basically in Nepali, Kali means black. So the river is black in color. That's why it's called Kali Gandaki. So most of the rivers in Nepal, you know, they have a name based on its color. For example, Sunkosi, which is golden koshi, Dud Koshi, which you find in the trail in the Khumbu region. Dud means milk, white river. Now we are driving alongside the Kali Gandaki corridor. It's a deep valley. Actually, it's a, like a root of the high Himalayas. And we will be driving through these massive mountain ranges enter into the Tibetan Plateau. Driving alongside the raising torrent of Kali Gandaki river down below, it's mostly uphill now from the bazaar of Beni towards Marfa through some treacherous off-road terrains. It's a beautiful driveway, perfect blue sky, it's been clear, sunny. The mountain in the front, it's called the Nilgiri mountain. Nilgiri in Nepali, a blue mountain. So the color of this mountain is blue, that's why it's called Nilgiri. And it's one of the highlight, it's a highlight of this scenic off-road route. So we'll be driving through this uh, corridor, Kali Gandaki corridor, between these giant massive Himalayas, the roots of the Himalayas. Driving up through some difficult mountain road, yet beautiful and scenic route, we come across a popular tourist destination, the beautiful Rupse Waterfall. The waterfall is situated in a picturesque landscape. It's a natural wonder standing at an impressive height of 300 meters. Its awe-inspiring beauty and serene surrounding make it a popular destination for visitors seeking to immerse themselves in the wonders of nature. The sheer height of this waterfall sets it apart, creating a magnificent spectacle as the water plunges down from the heights above, creating a mesmerizing display of nature's power. Good afternoon from the Rupse waterfall. 
So as you can see behind me is a very tall waterfall called the Rutse waterfall. It is flowing directly from the Daulagiri mountain. Now something that I would like to mention in this video is that currently I am standing at the world's deepest gorge. So there is actually a mountain, there is Annapurna over there and Daulagiri over there. And there you can see the gorge down below. That's the deepest gorge in the world. actually driving alongside the deepest gorge in the world so it's one of the major highlight of this route so actually we are driving through the Himalayas into Mustang and as you can see the road is not in a very good condition but anyhow it's very adventurous with scenic view surrounding us and this scenery is going to change now Welcome to the village of Lete. So we are at Lete. This is a splendid village. Lies at the foothills of Mount Daulagiri. You can see Mount Daulagiri more than 8,000 meters high. Mount Tukuche. It's on the foothill. And this is like we are in the tree lines at the moment. Once we cross this valley, then we reach into the low tree line in the Mustang, which is like a, more like a Tibetan plateau. You can see all over, we are surrounded by high mountains on the outside. And it's currently 2 in the afternoon and we are quite hungry. So what beautiful place to have lunch than this beautiful scenic location. So let's have some food. So beneath Mount Tukuche is this wonderful lodge known as uh, the Black Horse Inn. And where we will be having our much needed lunch. If you're wondering that Nepal is all about momo, sel roti and tukpa, then you're wrong. There is more. There is thakali set, the authentic thakali cuisine of the thakali people in the Mustang region of Nepal. If you are driving or visiting the Mustang region, be sure to try out the fulfilling Thakali set. Lete, we had an amazing lunch at the Black Horse Inn. Very tasty food, and we are more than excited now to continue our journey. Not much left, about 20-25 uh, kilometers only, so we're taking it slow, just marveling and enjoying the beauty that is surrounding us. So this is one of the most beautiful valley in Nepal, and a very scenic route. A little bit of off-road section. Yes. A fantastic view of the mountains. For 10 seconds. 
Okay, welcome to the village of Marfa. We have now reached uh, Marfa, situated at an altitude of around 2,700 meters above sea level. The current time is 4 p.m. and it's a beautiful uh, settlement. It's off season and all the hotels are closed here in Marfa. So we are heading back and going towards Jomsom. We just booked the hotel there. So let's go up towards Jomsom. Okay, back on the road again. So we initially decided to stay in Marfa, but because the hotels are closed, we are a little too early this season. So we are going up towards Jomsom. I booked the hotel there and uh, yeah this is the view towards Jomsom uh, the Kaligandaki river flowing down below and of course the road is quite fun full-on off-road adventure this road actually leads all the way to Upper Mustang and Nepal Tibet border so yeah, let's get going. Day two of our road trip adventure is coming to an end. We have now raised the town of Jomsom. Situated at an altitude of around 2,800 meters, it's approximately 160 kilometers drive from Pokhara. Welcome to the wild west of Nepal, the windy, charming town of Jomsom. Good evening. We are at uh, Jomsom. We are staying at this hotel. This is the only hotel that is open here at the moment. And we will be exploring this uh, Jomsom town. It's very windy in here. Uh, Jomsom Moktinath Mustang region is one of the windiest places in Nepal. And it's also quite cold, freezing cold at the moment. So let's explore this beautiful town. This is the Kali Gandaki River. We followed its track uphill all the way down from Beni. Here we have a beautiful view of the mountain with the setting sun. So in the distance in the foreground is the Jomsom Airport. It's also known as a very windy place. So the airport is not currently in operation. It's only in operation in the morning hour when the when there is not much wind. It's currently 5:30 in the evening. And we are actually visiting uh, one of the regular viewers of Nepal 360, Mr. Pranish Tulatan Bai, who currently runs a Momo restaurant. So I'm pretty sure he's in there somewhere. Hello! Hello, Hello Pranish Bai! Oh. By the way, our brother Pranish also has a YouTube channel. Yes. I will link it in the description. Oh, it's a t-shirt. Oh, it's Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, it's a tea time. Momo is ready. Let's go. Let's go. Salami does the mitzah. Good luck. Good morning. It's uh, six thirty in the morning. We have a clear blue sky. Uh, it's free. 
freezing cold out now it's about minus 6 minus 7 degree centigrade and uh, here we have the beautiful Jomsom village and towering above it is the Mount Taulagiri you can also see the airport in there so yeah let's get started of our Mustang travel adventure and today we will be visiting the holy spiritual site of Muktinath region, exploring the ancient Buddhist Kumbhas and relaxing by the lakeside of beautiful Tumba Lake. So let's get started, it's a beautiful journey today. These are mountain goats, also known as Changra in Nepali. They love mountain. So it's a beautiful drive up the high mountain roads in Nepal. So from Jomsom to Muktinath, it's about uh, an hour drive. And we will be climbing an elevation gain of 1,000 meters. As you can see, the road is uh, is a dirt track. It's not, I wouldn't say off road, but it's like a very nice, well, gravel road. It's quite comfortable to ride. But anyhow, we have uh, high mountains with no vegetation. All of these peaks over 4,000 meters high. High Himalayas surrounding us. And beneath us is the Kalikandaki Basin. So it's one of the one of the major river in Nepal. So yeah, let's 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 get going. <laughs> yeah. The road can get quite bumpy, but that's that's quite fun. It's adventurous. So yeah, visit Mustang. Truly really beautiful. It's our third time, but every time it feels like our first time. No stay. <laughs> The road section towards Muktinath region is very nice, well paved, and after driving uphill for around 10 minutes, we have now arrived at this beautiful scenic viewpoint where we will be stopping by to marvel the beauty surrounding us and have some fun. So introducing this uh, tours to drivers. Yeah. Me, myself, and our Suresh Tamang brother. Hello, hello, everyone. Yeah, he also has a YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out. I'll link it up in the description down below. Yeah. Anyhow, Suresh, ji, kosto bhai raasa da? Ekdom romailo bhai raasa, hai na? Aaj se ami kagwini mati selfie dana ma selfie point ma ibaya sao. Abas selfie kisi day? Ekdom romailo gardai sao, hai na? Romailo gardai sao. Oh, 
This is known as selfie dana. This is a selfie point. So you take selfie photos, selfie videos like this. Yeah. But anyhow, we are surrounded with mountains all over us. Eh? Himal, Himal, eh? Himal, Himal, Himal. Very, very Himal. Agla, agla, chuchura, Arjun. Nilgiri, Himal, ke 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 ke. Anmi kan, eh? Na. Ita part, part. Ita Nilgiri sa, ita Dola Giri sa. Dola Giri sa. Ek tam beautiful. Visit Mustang, eh? This is a scenic location you shouldn't miss. Surrounded by high mountains up this high mountain desert, beyond the village of Kagbeni that you see down below, you can relax, take some nice selfies, and if you're willing, take a horse ride. What's the name of this horse? Roma! A good horse. James is a good horse. So, what's the name of this horse? What's the name of this horse? After enjoying our time at the selfie point, it's time to head back up the mountain towards Muktinath. It is a beautiful day today, clear with blue sky, just perfect. Now we will be gaining some elevation as we climb up this scenic mountain road and it will take about an hour's drive to reach our destination. Nevertheless, let's take it slow and enjoy the beautiful landscape that surrounds us. Okay, so we have reached on top of this hill and there is the parking spot for the vehicle and from there we will be walking uphill towards the holy mountain temple of Muktinath. So welcome to the Muktinath region. Muktinath Valley is located at an altitude of 3710 meters at the foot of Thoranglā mountain pass. From here on we will leave our vehicle and walk up towards the temple of Muktinath, which is situated at an altitude of 3,800 meters. We have left our vehicle in the parking lot. It's a newly constructed parking lot. Last time we came here, there was no parking space, but now there is a good facility of parking space. So now it's uphill up this mountain towards the Muktinath temple. Walking through the barren landscape up to a picturesque settlement, we make our way towards the temple complex. It is a short uphill hike and there are many souvenir shops and restaurants along the way. That's high mountain pass of Thorang Pass, over 5,400 meters. So it's uh, an itinerary of the Annapurna circuit. And if you cross this pass, you reach the Manang. And from Manang, we cross this pass 
Tuas Mustang. We are climbing the stair up towards the Muktinath temple. Down below is the Muktinath region and above we can see the spectacular view of high Himalayas. Situated at an altitude of 3,800 meters, the temple of Muktinath is a highly venerated sacred place for both Hindus and Buddhists. Hindus call the site Mukti Chhetra, which literally means the place of salvation. Buddhists call Muktinath Chuming Gyatsa, which in Tibetan means hundred waters, a distinguishing feature that adds to the uniqueness of this temple complex is the presence of 108 sacred fountains. Designed in the shape of a cow's head, these fountains run along the temple wall. Throughout the year, pilgrims from Hindu and Buddhist tradition make their way to this sacred site. They believe that bathing in these fountains serves as a ritual of purification. Additionally, the site is believed to be a manifestation of Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of compassion and virtue. The Tibetan Buddhist tradition states that Guru Rinpoche, also known as Padmasambhava, the founder of Tibetan Buddhism, meditated here on his way to Tibet. So we are currently at an elevation of 3,850 meters above sea level. We are here at the holy site of Muktinath region. The Muktinath region houses the Muktinath temple, which is holy for Hindus as well as Buddhists. And around the Muktinath complex, uh, we can see a lot of Gumbas as well. So this Gumba is a, a Gumba for Padmasambha, Guru Padmasambha. So if you are visiting the Muktinath region, be sure to come by to this spiritual location. It's a very relaxing place, beautiful ambience. Uh, we are surrounded by high mountains. In fact, in the backdrop, we have some of the highest Himalayas in the world. Look at it. This is truly spectacular. Beautiful. Next to the Muktinath temple, we can find the biggest stone statue of Lord Buddha in Nepal. The 32 feet tall statue of Sakyamuni Buddha is carved from the special stone from the village of Harping by Newar artisans in Patan of Nepal. The statue sits in a peaceful location overlooking the town of Muktinath region.
so this location is also known as Jualamai and uh, is a natural wonder there is an eternal flame so there you can see the flame it's blue in color it's burning off of natural gas we have descended from the Muktinath temple the current time is uh, about 11.30 and now it's time for some much needed coffee break and it's none other than legendary Mr. Bob Marley Hotel Art by Nepal360. Like, share, and subscribe. Now it's an uphill drive to us to Bale. Down below we can see the town of Jomsom. So you can see from here we have uh, the airport of Jomsom. Jomsom town. And then there is also a very nice hotel over there. It used to be called Moksha Mustang. Now it goes by Shintamani Mustang. It's a five star hotel. As you can see, the road is uh, pretty steep uphill. And sometimes it gets gnarly, but most of the time it's just a plain gravel road. It sure is an adventurous ride here in Mustang. Tumba Lake is the hidden gem of Mustang region. It is emerald green in color and lies at the altitude of approximately 2,900 meters at the base of Mount Nilgiri, which is the main source of this lake. There is an interesting story behind this lake, as per the locals. Legend says that the lake water once turned into reed and only after long devoted religious ceremonies performed by Tibetan Buddhists that the water returned to its natural color. So it's been since considered a sacred lake.
that was a very windy experience at Dumba Lake. But I think the charm of Dumba Lake is the wind. So it, it, it creates a surreal atmosphere. Anyhow, we are now going back to Jomso to have some much needed lunch. And we are heading back to our brother Pranis Plazan's hotel for some tasty momo. Right. Mustang famous Momo. Mustang's famous Momo. If you're in uh, Mustang, you should head out to his uh, Momo uh, restaurant. And also, speaking of Dumba Lake, if you are visiting Mustang, don't miss Dumba Lake. It's a very beautiful scenic location. Just enjoy, sit back, relax, take your time. All your stress, all your tension will go away. But anyhow, let's get back. Back again on the off-road system. Now something that I would also like to mention is uh, the ethnicity of Mustang. So the majority of people here are Thakali. They have a very strong culture and uh, very authentic houses. So you can see these houses here, these villages, these are all Thakali villages. And uh, speaking of Thakali people, something that is quite famous about them is the food. The Thakali food. So you will never miss out the Thakali lunch when you are at Mustang. Authentic, original Thakali food. Make sure to try it. And once again on the rickety breeze, as you can see, there you go. And if we venture up towards the upper Mustang section, then the ethnicity changes. There you would find uh, more Tibetan people uh, with the Tibetan idyllic rural landscape and Tibetan culture. There are ancient gompas and stupas, 10th century old and it's, it's a totally different place. So take a look at our Mustang adventure video for, for an exciting adventure that we did back on a motorcycle, motorcycle adventure. So that's something that's quite interesting. By the way, if you are deciding to go to Lumantang, uh, for foreigners, there is a permit fee of about $500 for one person. But for Nepalese, there is no permit fee. And uh, if you are coming to Mustang, don't miss out on Upper Mustang. It's a beautiful place. video, <laughs> Okay, so just had an amazing momo at the Pranisa Momo restaurant at Pranis. Ah, Pranis, why? Shopping time. So now it's time to do some shopping, much needed shopping. Jomsom Marfa is famous for its apple, tasty apple. These are the local produce, the apples. We also have some Mustang potato and uh, garlic, local garlic. And these are like beans and lentils. Dried apples. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Mm, Dried apples. 
Okay, we had an amazing time at Mustang. It has been an adventurous journey going up to the Muktinath temple, to the beautiful pristine Tumba Lake. And really the journey, the, the distance that we have covered through these high mountains, these beautiful terrains, it has been an absolute joy. So we highly recommend everyone to try it out. Visit Mustang, try out the culture, try out the local cuisine, enjoy and marvel at the beautiful views surrounding us. And yeah, thanks for watching the video till the very end. And if you like this video, please feel free to share it, hit that thumbs up button and stay posted for more adventure from Nepal 360. Thank you so much. Kingdom. Oh, Kingdom to Oh, what are what are going to happen to Next time, see how hold the on Okay, I I'll tell you, 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 I'll tell